so why am I doing this? Um, that is a good question. I'm 37 years old. I thought I was done with competing in karate uh, back in 2010. And then I started a family, had two children. So why am I back competing in karate? Um, it's because of the Olympic dream. That's really what it comes down to. Uh, as young as I can remember, eight, nine years old, uh, me and my friends in karate were talking about one day making to the Olympics and, and what a cool thing that would be. So it's always been uh, a dream of mine. I found out early enough that karate wasn't in the Olympics and then so I shifted my, my dreams and goals towards becoming a world champion. Um, and so, so that was satisfying and gratifying um, at the time, but now that the Olympics are a reality and it's an opportunity, um, I can't just sit back and watch it pass me by and, and cheer others on. I had to see if it was something I could just uh, try and, and, and see if it's, if it's still in the cards for me. Well, I've had several near retirements. <laughs> um, I actually wanted to retire back in 2008. Uh, and that's when I got a silver medal at the World Championships and it's great. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but it was rough for me. It was, it was too big a loss for me to turn away from the sport at that moment. Um, and then when I reflected afterwards, I thought there's no reason for me to turn, to turn away from the sport just yet. I'm young and there's, there's still, you know, I'm still healthy and, and there's just no reason. So I did come back for another two years. And um, at that point, when I decided to retire in 2010, it was bittersweet. I still enjoyed the whole process. I enjoyed being on the team. I enjoyed competing. I was still doing well. I helped my um, teammates win the first team medal for Team USA and Women's Kumite. And um, it was sad turning away from it, but at that point, uh, John and I were ready to, to start our family. So um, it wasn't so bad, actually. <laughs> So my ultimate motivation for uh, why I can show up every day and train and push myself um, as much as I do is my family. Um, it was great as a young adult coming up and, and doing it for myself and um, I always made, made that a priority to, to do what I love for myself. Um, but now that I have two children, that's really what fuels me uh, to be a good role model and good parent you have to show up for life and be the best version of yourself. You can't live for other people. So what I'm doing right now is I'm achieving and going after my dreams and what I think that's doing is showing my kids how to go after things even when they're almost impossible. Uh, if you can just show up and give it your best every day, I think that's the best type of uh, role model I can be for them. You know, if I had to pick a struggle coming back to competition, whether to do it or not, honestly, it was what other people thought of me. And as soon as I realized that I don't care what other people think, then it was a really easy decision. Um, I was worried, you know, am I too old? Will people think, oh, you know, she's just kind of silly that she's trying to do it now? But if I were to not go after it simply because of what other people thought, then I would be the one living in regret. So going to the ACL, um, it was a shock. Uh, I had never had any major injury in my entire life, um, but it felt a lot like having a kid. <laughs> like that was the pain. Um, but it was instant sadness. I, I immediately thought the worst that this was over and that I would, would not be coming back to training. Um, they didn't tell me right away that it was the ACL, but I kind of knew that it was something really serious. And when it was confirmed, I wasn't sure of timeline-wise if it was in the cards for me to be able to come back and, and continue this Olympic process. So it really was a tough a tough moment for me um, as I was able to let the emotions subside and, and really think things through logically and, and see that there really was time for me to get back into shape and, and rehab the knee and, and get back onto, you know, into competing, then um, I started to see things a lot more optimistically. To qualify for the Olympics is, um, I don't know, it would be overwhelming to be honest. Like I would, I would not know how to how to handle it. <laughs> like I, it, it would be it would be a dream come true. I mean that's for sure. But um, I don't focus on that too much. Of course, you you have to 
think of your long-term goals and think of your your dreams so I do that but I don't want to like obsess over it because I know there's so many little steps in between that I have to be really focused on and so I try to focus on those baby steps uh, let's get through this next tournament let's get through the next tournament let's get through this training um, and and that's what I, I try to focus on the most but it's really nice sometimes to to think about that dream uh, because that's really why why I'm doing it so uh, now with Olympics and now with all the trips that we have to be able to go to in order to qualify, um, it's even more challenging to, to receive that financial assistance. Um, we as athletes try to remain optimistic and uh, we're always very grateful for anyone who, who can realize our dreams and, and, and support that.